who reject, refute, refuse, and rebel against the principles of humanistic psychology they label as madmen. Read my comments. Lunatics. Read my comments. Insane. Read my comments. Mentally ill. Read my comments. Or brainwashed. But look, yeah, my brain was washed in the blood of Jesus in 1983. Am I angry? Yeah, I'm angry at sin. Am I a madman? Yes, I, I'm mad at sin. I'm mad at sin. So I'm not crazy. I'm just a Christian carrying his cross. Now, the fear of God can be explained best this way. It's having faith in God. If you really have faith in God, you believe there's a heaven and a hell, a right and a wrong, a good and an evil, a darkness and a light, you're not going to sin. Now, don't shout me down now because I'm preaching real good. It's mighty quiet in here. You can hear this Bible drop. Bible drop. You fear God and you have faith in God, you're not going to sin. You're not going to walk. Is You're not going to live with a girl you're not married to. You're not going to have sex with anybody you're not married to. You're not going to go to divorce court. You're not going to drink. You're not going to do drugs. You're not going to smoke. You're not going to lie. You're not going to cheat. You're not going to look at porn if you have faith in God. If you really believe what this book says, you're not going to be living in sin because there's a heaven to gain. And bless God, there's a hell to shun. That's a great place to say amen. And if you can't say amen, you can say, oh me, it's true nonetheless. The fear of God takes away all of the fear. So if you fear God, there is nothing and no one else in this whole universe to fear but God. Hallelujah. So that solves that issue forever. Now, doesn't it? I want to get into my text. Notice John the Baptist and Jesus was a prophet too. Notice John the Baptist in verse 76 is called the prophet of the highest. A prophet takes on sin and he prepares the sinner to be saved. Today, they label me old-fashioned, old-school, fuddy-duddy, old paths, old ways, because I still preach against sin. I still protest the Vatican. I still preach hell, fire, and brimstone. I still preach the Pentecostal message. I say we need to stay out of politics and get back to preaching and get back to prayer. I take on Donald Trump, and that's why I'm not invited to preach in America's mega churches. That's why Matt and Lori Crouch do not invite Mike Dial to be on TBN, because I preach it like it was preached in 1923. And in 1953, but if it was true all those years ago, it's true today. Nothing has changed. Jesus doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. This Bible doesn't change. And I don't care what you say. Think or believe. I only care what this word says. Thus saith the Lord. To give knowledge of salvation, that's what I'm doing. So for the balance, and the, verse 79, to give light to them that sit in darkness. So for the balance of this message, and I'm not going to talk very long today. I'm going to do that. 